can't help that our lips are darker. So we have to find products that will actually show up on our lips. And um, this is not it. Sorry to break it to you. Hey guys, welcome back to another Lipstick Swatch video. My name is Shemaine, if you are new here. And for those of you who have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. Today's video is going to be about e.l.f. Cosmetics and I will be swatching their new lip lacquers that just came out. So there are six shades. I'm going to see if I can hold all six of them. Okay, so these are the six shades of the new e.l.f. Cosmetics lip lacquer that I will be swatching. So we do have some that are high shine and some with a shimmery, glittery finish. So these should be quite fun to swatch. So if you're interested in seeing all the swatches of the new lip lacquers, I would highly encourage that you watch till the end. So I'm going to start off with the high shine lacquers first and then I will move on to the glittery, shimmery more fun lacquers. And the first one here that I am going to start with, first of all, just let me tell you that. So when I went to Ulta to pick these up, they were only three shades that I could find in store and I wondered why until I went online and saw that the other three shades can only be found online. And those other three shades are Love Bite, Mauve Glitz, and Moody. So those are online only. So if you're looking to get those shades, you will not find them in store. You will have to go online and purchase them at Ulta.com. Um, I even went to my local Walmart to see if they had it in store and it was not there. So I don't know which other stores you can check to see if it'll be there, but I checked Walmart and I went to Ulta and neither of them had all six shades available. So. Just a heads up for you guys. So now that we have all that cleared up, we can start with the swatches. And I am going to start with Moody. I am not new to these. I have purchased these before in the past. I never really liked the smell for some reason. It just kind of gives off like a weird smell. Well, so far, I do not like the doe foot applicator. It just seems a bit too flimsy. It just, it is flexible. It's just a little bit too flexible where it's hard to keep it firm because it moves a lot. So I like my doe foot applicators a little bit more firm just to have more control because this is so flexible. It's hard to get that control that you want to give you a precise application. Let's just do a quick hair test. And there you go. Like I always say, all lip glosses are sticky to some degree. And these e.l.f. lip glosses, I find them to be a lot more sticky than a lot of other lip glosses that I've tried. But this is what the first color, Moody, looks like. Next shade up, we have Wild Rose. Now, Wild Rose definitely looks like a nice, pinky, rosy, beautiful color. It is a cute color. In my complexion, it looks like a powdery, rosy color. And it's not terrible. It's definitely, again, there is nothing special about this color. It's just a regular rose color that you can find anywhere else. Depending on how pigmented your lips are, uh, these probably will not show up the way you want it to. So you will just have to play around with the number of coats that you want to put on to achieve the pigmentation that you desire. So again, this one is Wild Rose and this is how it's swatching on my lips. So 
So now we're getting into the fun lip glosses. These do have a shimmer to them. This is in the color, or this is in the shade Fantasy. This one is very subtle, but you can see the shimmers in there. The great thing about shimmers that I like is that you can wear these on their own or you can wear it over a lipstick. And I like that the shimmers in these, you can't actually feel it. Because in some lip glosses, you do feel the shimmers and as they dry, they get really crusty looking and feel very uncomfortable. So I like that you can't feel any shimmers in these. They also smell a lot better than the plain high shine glosses. The scent is a lot more pleasant. I do have to say the plain high shine glosses do have some sort of a chemically scent to it that I don't care for, but these do smell a tad better. A tad better, they do. Anyway, so this is Fantasy. It just swatches like a clear gloss with the shimmers in there. So depending on the angle or where the light hits it from, you will peep a little bit of the glitter or shimmer. So it's just a regular schmegular shimmer gloss, nothing too crazy. To be honest, I expected these shimmer ones to be a lot more fun, but I guess I had way too much of an expectation. But the next color here is called Love Bite. Now this really looks pretty from the tube. It really does. I see some pinks, green, uh, maybe blue, purple shimmers in there. It's just like a mixture of fun little shimmers. So I really hope that that comes out and that shows. It looks like it's a bit darker pigment as well. So I'm hoping this will really come through if you know what I mean. But these all seem to be swatching clear. Mm, yep, I expected way too much. And this one again, it's watching clear and you can barely see the beautiful shimmers that I see from the tube. You can barely see it on my lips. So that's quite disappointing. But then again, these are three bucks, right? So, okay, so Love Bite. How is this any different from the last two shimmers? I don't really see that much of a difference. So yeah, this isn't quite different from the first shimmer shade. They both swatch clear. Um, I guess this one does have a little darker pigment. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to, see, I, I just find myself trying to justify these shimmer glosses right now because I expected a lot more but this one looks just the same as the first one that I swatched, so there's really not much to say about it. Next shade up is a clear lip gloss called Bubbles, 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 Bubbles. I bet you can't guess how this is gonna swatch. Is it gonna swatch clear or not clear? Clear. Now it's more like bubbles. I think we could all use a clear lip gloss. More than anything, we reach for clear lip glosses just because they are simple and they pretty much go with everything. But so did the other two shimmer glosses. They pretty much swatched clear. A clear swatch is what you can expect from a gloss like this. And the other two, I expected a little bit more. 
Oh, this one's sticking already. That is not gonna end well. Bubbles, bubbles. Ugh. Yeah, that's starting to collect right at my waterline. Yeah, that's not gonna end well, nope. Mm -mm. Because if it's doing that already, later on it's just gonna be worse. So you have to pay attention to those little early signs. That's gonna tell you how a lip product is gonna perform throughout the day. It really gives you an insight of how something's gonna perform throughout the day if you just see, like, ew, that was just gross. I There was like a string of lip gloss. So if you pay attention to those little signs, it'll give you great insight on how something is going to perform. And don't ignore them because you will be looking bad out there in public with your lip gloss collecting all over. So pay attention to the signs. So I don't like how this feels on my lips right now. So I will more than likely refrain from using this lip gloss. Lastly, but not leastly, we have mauve glitz. There is mauve glitz for you. How does it swatch? Clear. Shocking. I mean, I barely even see the glitz in this one. What is it? It was mauve glitz, right? Yeah, that's the name, mauve glitz. The glitz must have picked up and leave because I do not see the glitz in this one. I just see a clear lip gloss like the other three of them. Um, yeah, so that just means that you don't need to go out and spend your money on all six of these glosses because all six of them pretty much swatches the same evidence. But you know what? It depends. If you are of a lighter complexion, you will more than likely have a lot more luck with the swatches or with the pigment showing up on your lips. Whereas if you're in the darker spectrum like I am, you will struggle with the pigmentation showing up because of our darker lips. Okay, so let's just do a quick recap of the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lip Lacquers. These are vegan and cruelty free. They are also super affordable. That's why we keep going back to e.l.f. because they do offer some of the most affordable products, not even lip products, just makeup overall. Um, what else do I have for positives for these? Um, wow, well, do I really have to try that hard? Okay, I don't have anything else. If I do, I will remember to go back. Okay, what are some of the challenges with this lip gloss? What I find is that they all give me that natural lip look, which you wouldn't expect to see, which I mean, they give you a variety of colors but they all swatch natural on my lips. They all swatch like a clear gloss with that natural looking finish. So they really don't do anything for me. Um, and like I said, if you are of a darker complexion, you will find challenges with the color showing up on your lips. So it might be better for you to just wear this over a lipstick if you want a little bit more pigment but if you just want like a quick fix type of lip they're just perfect to keep around like for your no makeup days where you want to look like you kind of made an effort then you can certainly throw this on your lips and you will look a little bit more put together but these really don't do anything for my lips as far as as far as pigmentation Next is, I think they are, not I think, they are a little bit goopy. They are of a thicker consistency and they it weighs very heavy on my lips. And because of that, they tend to get goopy as well. That is my personal experience with them. They get goopy because they are of a thicker consistency. 
Another thing is the smell. Some of the lacquers do have a slight chemically smell that's not pleasant and um, that can start to get uncomfortable and that scent can just get to you real quick. So you might want to stay away from that if you are sensitive to, to smells. But these ones, however, especially the shimmer ones, they had more of a pleasant smell. It wasn't as bad as I remembered. They do smell a little bit better. So you can try the shimmer ones and those might work out better for you than the regular high shine lacquers. Um, now another thing, wow, this is like how many negatives. I stopped counting really. But another thing is that these lip glosses, they do not last very long. These only last for about 30 minutes to an hour, so they will be gone before your crush even notices. So if you plan to be out for a long period of time, then don't waste your time wearing these because unless you're okay with touching up after 30 minutes, then go for it. But if you plan to be out for a long time at a wedding, um, formal event, then you might want something more long lasting because these have to be retouched several times and they do transfer super easily. Hence why you have to retouch it every so often. So yeah, that came off already. It's a gloss. It will come off pretty easily. So you have to expect that. Um, Another thing is that there's not, gosh, there's so many negatives for these. I feel like the negatives are outweighing the positives right now. And I didn't mean for it to be that way, but hey, I'm just trying to be honest here. So, but another issue is that they're not very hydrating. You know, if you have dry lips, these are not the best option for you. They do dry out your lips. Guys, it's just a quick fix. It's not supposed to give you endless moisture and hydration. It's a $3 lip gloss. You really can't expect much from a $3 lip gloss. Then again, e.l.f. has come a long way with their makeup. And I think people still need quick fixes like these lip gloss because not all of us have important places to go or to be. Sometimes we just want a little quick fix. And I feel like that's the purpose of these lip glosses. The reason I'm here doing these videos is not to discourage you, but it's to inform you of my personal experience. So even though they didn't work out the way I wanted them to for myself, I think there's still a great option for people who are just getting into wearing glosses. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, elementary school kids, they're into lip glosses and makeup these days elementary, high school, people who don't have a lot of money to buy makeup, which includes myself. So that's why I still keep buying e.l.f. But yeah, there are, there is a target audience for these lip glosses and that's why e.l.f. is still pretty much successful. So we just can't be negative about it. We just, you know, if it doesn't work out for you, it doesn't work out for you. So just try something else. But that's all I got for you guys. I hope you like this video and I hope it'll help you to make a more informed decision about e.l.f. lip glosses and if it'll work for you or not. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you're always aware of my future uploads. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.